A facility already on the leading edge of stem cell science is taking another step forward. We decided that we needed to be first in developing a bank that's much more comprehensive. Y-Cell Research Institute already runs the National Stem Cell Bank for the National Institutes of Health. The National Stem Cell Bank right now is limited to 21 human embryonic stem cell lines. and There's a big demand for all these new stem cell lines and so we want to provide that service. We think we can do it better than anybody else in the world because we've been doing it for three years. We already have the infrastructure in place with the protocols and the testing. So it's just an easy jump for us to make. The motivation to make that jump came from stem cell pioneer Jamie Thompson's work on induced pluripotent stem cells, or iPS cells. A pluripotent cell has the ability to become any other cell in the body. It's a blank slate. Thompson's lab was one of the first to derive pluripotent cells from human skin cells, rather than from embryos. Thompson's groundbreaking research was published in November 2007. It was overwhelming. Um, I don't even remember the first day how many responses we got. Many congratulations, but it was also, can I get the cells? Can I get the DNA? When can we have them? We were sending cells across the world. It took up an inordinate amount of time, many, many, many hours of work. It became very clear that it was way too much time for a research lab to do. They were overwhelmed by requests, and so they, they asked us to uh, distribute their cell lines. It would have been incredibly taxing on our lab. I don't know how we would do it. We're in a unique position to be able to do this. We're experts in the field, and we think we can do it better than anybody else. YCell is proud of building relationships with scientists. We don't just bank cells and distribute them, we work with them. We teach them how to work with the cells. We provide them protocols. Thompson's iPS cell lines are just the beginning for the new YCell International Stem Cell Bank. There's a lot of interest right now in disease cell lines. And we think there's going to be a lot of lines coming out where researchers are going to want to continue their research and not spend the time and resource in actually distributing them. That's where we fit in. It enables us to focus on our own lab. It enables me to allow my time to be focused on the Thompson lab and getting the research done here. It's really a symbiotic relationship where they can do the research and we can take on the distribution to the rest of the world. The more lines we can have available, the more people we can probably help. All the discoveries are going to come from somewhere and they have to start with starting material. And our starting material is going to give scientists a leg up. It'll progress the field as a whole. The more people working on it creates competition and from competition comes great discovery. I think we can make a big difference.